Good morning, I'm Zach Lazway with your news for Jack's update. Happening today, the FAA will be on scene of a plane crash in Georgia that killed a Florida family of five. The twin engine turboprop plane crashed at 3.13 Friday afternoon near Eatonton, Georgia. The plane took off from Williston Municipal Airport, a small airfield between Gainesville and Ocala about an hour before the crash. Authorities have identified the pilot and owner of the plane as Larry Pruitt of Morriston, Florida. On board were husband and wife Sean Lamont and Jody Lamont and their two young children, six-year-old J.C. Lamont and four-year-old Alice Lamont, all from Gainesville, Florida. The NTSB is investigating the crash. Breaking overnight, JSO is investigating a shooting on Jacksonville's north side. It happened on West 12th Street shortly after 11 o'clock last night. Police say the victim has life-threatening injuries. No arrests have been made. If you know anything about this shooting, you're asked to call police. Meanwhile, the Nassau County Sheriff's Office is searching for two people connected to a double shooting at a two tattoo shop in Yulee. Police have identified them as Ashley Morgan and John Kite. Both are from Fernandina Beach. Chris Vinson, the owner of Freebird Tattoo, was shot five times. He is out of surgery and is expected to be okay. Another person was also shot. The condition of that individual is not known at this time. And later today, a march through downtown is expected to take place at 2 o'clock this afternoon. It is being organized by the Jacksonville Community Action Committee. It will start at the Duval County Courthouse and end at State Attorney Melissa Nelson's office. They're demanding Nelson drop the charges against protesters, release body camera video from police, and stand up to what they are calling police bullying. For the latest on all news happenings throughout our region, head to our website, newsforjax.com.